Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Ramoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. This is the podcast where we have digital discussions from the worlds of TV, film, social media, news, sports, everything really, depending on the guests, we talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Meliotis, and on social media, you know me and follow me as PD Beats. And a show called Ozark is uh, being taken the world by storm. And uh, season three just got uh, recently um, released on Netflix. And we are speaking to three of the cast members from this amazing show that is known as Ozark. So I'm going to have them introduce themselves and tell us their character, and we will get into it, starting with Kevin. Hey, what's going on? Kevin L. Johnson. I play Sam Dermody. Hi, I'm Melissa. I play Jade. Hey, I'm Jessica Francis Dukes. I play Agent Maya Miller. Well, Kevin, Melissa, Jessica, thank you all for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for having us. And I just want to say, Kevin, congrats on being a third time, to- a uh, three-time guest on Pop Turnative, man. Do I get anything for that? Like, is yeah, do you? I, maybe you'll get like a mug or a coffee mug <laughs> or a jacket or something. <laughs> I got. I'll work on it. Um, cool. we'll, we'll start with Jessica on this one. Storytelling. I just wanted to kind of go around the, around the panel right now. What, what, what kind of got you into storytelling, so to speak? Uh, my family, my family, um, constantly had, uh, everyone over the house. So it was like the hotspot, um, it was cards games. My dad was a DJ, um, and they were constantly entertaining. And I just was the kid serving drinks at the bar for all the adults telling all these stories. And they would just like sit around in a circle and just talk for hours and just being around a whole bunch of characters growing up and really being influenced by them and just taking in the stories. And uh, I've just loved make-believe from day one and I don't ever remember wanting to do anything else. Absolutely. Melissa, what about you? When did you uh, decide you wanted to be a storyteller? (laughs) Well, I was actually an incredibly shy child. Like I just didn't really, like I would hide behind my mom's leg all the time and um, I was just very shy. And so there was actually a theater academy in my hometown. I'll like do a plug for them right now. Springer Theater Academy in Columbus, Georgia. And um, and it's it's, the actual academy is more about like helping kids find confidence through theater than it is about, you Mm -hmm. know, pumping out actors and going there really changed my life. And that's kind of what inspired me to start telling stories. Very cool. And last but not least, Kevin, how did this guy get, how did this guy get into storytelling? (laughs) Um, I mean, I guess, uh, I don't know if this is storytelling, but I mean, I was a big wrestling fan growing up. So I like to imitate, the rock and stone cold and so i would me and my me and my sister would like we had this we put down a rug and i would be the rock and she would be somebody or i would be stone cold and she would be triple h and we would just kind of and we would wrestle and so i guess that's kind of storytelling right no you know? absolutely no. yeah wrestling and, yeah spectacle then, it's they call it the term for for wrestling because there's a lot of theater that has that, that's associated with it if you study like entertainment and theater and class and I had a communications class and they called it it's a spectacle of excess. <laughs> nice. That that that's what wrestling is. Yeah, that makes sense. So it does make sense. Um yeah, no for sure. Now I just kind of want it to kind of uh for people uh, I want you guys to fill people in on your characters a little bit. So Jessica, I understand your character, we've never seen you before. We only we, we now see you in season 3. So what's your character like? I play Agent Maya Miller. Um, so I am the forensic accountant that the FBI sends um, at some point in the season. Um, and yeah, I'm working really closely with the folks without spoiling things. Absolutely. And Melissa, we were introduced to your character in season two and, and, and you're back in season three. What, what's your character all about? Yeah, so I actually am the girlfriend of Mr. Sam Dermody. <laughs> so I get to work very closely with this guy. <laughs> and that's how we, um, we've we become good friends now. But yeah, I, I basically am Sam's girlfriend and maybe more, maybe less. I don't know. We'll find out this season. <laughs> Absolutely. And Sam, you know, you're all over the place, Sam's character. Kevin, Sam, your character 
as Sam is all over the place, real estate agent, owner of a strip club. Uh, yeah. And I mean, you could probably make a spinoff about your character. There's so many ventures. <laughs> Better call Sam, right? Yeah. <laughs> So what's Sam up to a little bit in season three? Um, ooh, uh, well, uh, so real estate, season one, strip club owner, season two. And then Wendy comes a call in in season three again. And uh, I, don't know, I mean, this isn't a huge spoiler. It's uh, I'm part of the casino mm -hmm. situation uh, yep. this season. So absolutely, they got me doing a little some shady stuff i'll say and i want to get to a special segment where i have you guys ask <laughs> each other questions so i'm really excited about that um but before that i have a specific question for uh -oh. all for all three of you so what was that like for you kind of jumping in to a show that's had two you know really intense seasons and season three is launched and you're kind of thrown in the fire right away what was that like jessica you know, I've been a fan of this show from day one. Like, I binged it so hard. <laughs> um, and so when the audition came along, I was like, I know what this is. I got this. Uh, <laughs> but then I was like, well, shit, I, I don't know if I fit into this. I wonder if I fit into this. Um, and it just felt so right. And so when I got the call, I was like, oh, this is home. And then I binged it again you know, one and two. Um, so I kind of didn't feel as thrown into the mix because I was already so involved with the characters. Like, you know, I was, I, Jessica had such a relationship to Sam already, you know, and, and Marty and Wendy and all these people. So as Maya Miller coming in, who's obviously studied these people, it was kind of perfect because I had just been finished studying them too. You know, no, absolutely for sure. And Melissa, my question for you has to do with kind of you know, season two is when we first see your character, and now season yeah. three as well. Um, and, and what, what, what would you say some of the differences are in the pace of Ozark if there are, if there are any differences, or is it kind of the same as season one and two, where it's just kind of full speed ahead and just craziness? Yeah, I mean, it's Ozark, so it's full speed ahead and craziness. You know, that's that's kind of what the show is. And I think if if that element were to leave, I, I don't I don't think people would be disappointed because I think the creators of the show are so genius that if they were to take it in a different direction, I think they would be able to do that very well. But no, I it's just as just as intense and kind of fast moving and on the edge of your seat um, as before. Yeah, for sure. And for for. Kevin, Sam is is from season on season one, season two, and season three. Talk a little bit about the evolution of the transformation of Sam. Um, while we see, you know what I mean. There's is like talk about a little bit of the character development and you having to prepare yeah. each season for playing Sam, Kevin. Uh, well, um, you know, like in season one, Wendy comes along to the real estate office and needs a job. And then we found out about my overbearing mom, who uh, I think Wendy <laughs> inadvertently um, helps me, you know, get a backbone and stand up to my mom, mm -hmm. which uh, obviously in this world has consequences. So, yes, I stand up to her. <laughs> but by doing that, she gets hit by a garbage truck. Um, but it's, you know, losing her helped me you know, get the backbone that I needed, you know, do the motivational speaking stuff that I wouldn't have been able to do if I was still under my mom's thumb. Um, and then, of course, Wendy comes calling again in season two to help me. She needs help uh, with a strip club because they need like a uh, a face that nobody is going to, you know, suspect of doing bad things. Um, and then cause and effect. If I hadn't started working at the strip club, I wouldn't have met Jade. So, you know, yes, I lose my mom because I know Wendy, but I also gain somebody in my life because I know Wendy. And then, you know, in season three, Wendy comes a calling again uh, and craziness ensues, cause and effect. 
it's Ozark craziness. Like let's said, full speed ahead, no matter no matter what. Um, now it's a cool segment. I kind of want you guys to ask each other questions. So we'll start with Jessica. Jessica, it could be an Ozark related, non Ozark. Just a quick question for Kevin and for Melissa. I have a question. Um, as a fan of Ozark, what were you doing with the peanut butter in the first scene uh, <laughs> in season one? What was I? Oh, what is actually supposed to be happening in the scene? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had peanut butter on my toes because. Oh, we, God, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had the dog underneath the. Um, underneath the table and the trainer was with the dog and the dog kept freaking out because um laura you know was yelling her line at one point yeah and the dog wouldn't come out when it was supposed to <laughs> when it was <laughs> when the dog was supposed to come out and start licking my toes so you see that happening um but yeah that's what was going on it was a quick a lot of people didn't realize that even after seeing it and i gotta think like, if you think something else is going on with the dog, how would I ever be redeemable? I, I could save, I could save like five kids in the show, and I'm still the guy who let a dog lick peanut butter off. You know? Yeah. Yeah. There's no going back from that. No. 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 I will never forget that. I will never forget that. <laughs> and just do you have a question for Melissa? I do. Okay. <laughs> So why? Oh, I can't ask that. That was for <laughs> Um, I will ask why Sam. Why Sam? I Jade has never. I mean, obviously, it's you've seen the show, and and so you know kind of the community. Jade has never, particularly being a stripper and working in the strip club, has never had a man who is just as genuinely like kind and giving and supportive and thoughtful as Sam. And I actually really love their relationship on the show because I do think Sam exhibits so many wonderful qualities in a human being. And I think it's a really beautiful relationship, actually. Ah, we're talking about Sam, not Kevin, right? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> the line is just blurred. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and uh, Melissa, do you have a question for Kevin or Jessica? Well, Jessica, kind of, in a way, piggybacked off of my question. What happened with the dog? Personally, as Jade, I'm just saying I would love to have a little fluffy dog in our lives, Sam. And I just want to know where the dog went. I know. I got a. I was asking Jason that in uh, season two. I was like, is the dog coming back? Is my uh, little pom- Is I think it was a Pomeranian. Yeah. Is that the right term? Yeah, Pomeranian. I, I don't know. It's. I mean, the dog exists in the world. As far yeah. as I know, mm-hmm. but yeah, it just was it your dog or was it your mom's dog? Uh oh, that's a good question. I think it was I, your I think, mom's dog. Um, I can't. I don't know if that was ever actually. Uh, I don't think they ever said it specifically, but but yeah. just when I was thinking back to the question and thinking about the fact that your mom was still alive and you were working for your mother at the time, I was like, oh, maybe that's maybe it was meant to be your mother's dog. Hmm. Huh. And do you have a question for Jessica? Yes, Jessica. So obviously you're a fan of Ozark. So how did you deal with, I deal a lot with nerves and anxiety as an actor. How did you deal with coming on set to a show that you're so in love with? I mean, that has to be mildly intimidating and scary in a wonderful way. That's a good question. Do you want to be the host of Pop Turnative? (laughs) No, no, nobody wants me to host everything. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh wow um uh so i guess for me this is what we do you know um every set every uh rehearsal i i've been so blessed in my life to work with wonderful artists um and i feel like i'm always walking into a room where i'm like holy shit it's you you know um especially <laughs> such a theater nerd and such a um you know just actor nerd um so i think that it actually wasn't um anything different from an, any other room i will say that laura linney when she walked towards me i was like you gotta give me a minute because 
Yeah. You're you, you she's, know. Um, you're, but you're you. Walk, right, you know, but also when you walk onto that set, you know you're walking on one of the best sets in the world. So the pressure kind of goes, shoot, and you go into battle mode because everybody's so good. And the other thing is when I walked on that set, literally the first day, I felt like I was walking into a summer camp that I've been at every summer because every single person was so welcoming. Kevin had tweeted me way before I even started working. Like, Welcome to the family. And I just felt but like that's I, what it, that's what he does. That's Kevin. Like Kevin is like Kevin's social media is not his social media. It's like <laughs> helping out and promoting people. Like he's yeah. such like it's such a good yeah. thing. But that's him. Yeah, I felt right at home right away, and the nerves just kind of fell by the wayside. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Kevin, what are your two? What are your questions for Melissa and Jessica? Um, I got to think of one for Melissa, but uh. What was it like, Jess, working on a uh, uh, Jessica Jones? I mean, in a Mar mm. the Marvel universe. I mean, oh. you know. Wow! Yes, I loved it. Um, it was a completely different sort of thing, being um, a recurring role and popping in once in a blue moon. You know, um, as opposed to being there, you know, on the regular. So I felt like every time I came on set, I was kind of like just like a machine trying to start up. However, Rachel Taylor, who, if you see Jessica Jones, you know, that's who I'm with the entire time. Yeah. He taught me the ropes and they would say, okay, set, okay, camera. And I would look at her and do whatever she did <laughs> because I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. And so, so she would get set up and they would be like, okay. And, and I would learn the terminology and everything just by watching how she dealt with it. And it was an amazing experience, but Rachel Taylor, like, I love you, girl. You're awesome. You're the you're best lover. That's awesome. Yeah. Kevin, which question for Melissa? Did you, did you think of one? Yeah. Um, Savannah. What was Savannah like? That was, you know, that's where I, <laughs> I was born. I, I didn't get to go to Savannah. Kevin is so, so mad but... because, because me and two of the other strippers on the show got to, got to go to Savannah and he didn't get to come with us. <laughs> <laughs> um, we filmed some, they filmed some of the casino, um, scenes inside a boat in Savannah, actually. Oh, um, really? So, yeah, yeah. So we, we got to drive down to Savannah one weekend, which was really nice. It was great. Um, it was really hot. We were stuck. We were stuck on a boat. So if you left the boat, you were just melting. Wow. But it was it was hot. So we kind of just stayed in our rooms the whole time. But it was really cool. And I do have to say this, um, because I am kind of, you know, as you were speaking about your experience with Jessica Jones, I am a recurring character. Okay. So I don't, I don't necessarily get the same amount of time as Kevin or Jessica to get to know everyone. And that was one nice thing about having to go to Savannah. It was kind of two to three days where we were all in the same hotel. And I felt like I got a lot more quality time getting to know some of the cast members and, and people that I've admired um, in a way that I hadn't had a chance to do that before. No, for sure. It, it's always it's it's always cool too when when you get to do little things like that like i'm sure that was like ozark and doing the that little savannah thing was like a cool experience for you and something maybe you didn't do before you know yeah yeah it was absolutely very cool before we wrap up very quickly one word without spoilers kevin i'm looking at you one word to describe ozark season three kevin go oh just one word one uh word. hmm Shock. Jessica? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa? I feel like mine are so, because I watched the last episode, like, last last night. I just, like, been playing, mm -hmm. and it's kind of the same. You're just like, wow. It's shocking, maybe? Just like, like, like Darlene, wow? Because that's still one of the most intense, like, the, I don't know if Oh, you, the, the shotgun? That was yeah. the most, that's probably, I watch a lot of TV. I watch a lot of movies. It's probably one of the most like insane, uncomfortable scenes ever in a TV show I've ever watched in my life. Darlene's interesting in this season. I'll just I'll just leave it at that. But dude, Darlene, I when she I shot him, that was come on, that was crazy. I mean, I, if you have your cast members that are already on it, that know the script, you know, what I mean? <laughs> still sitting on their couch like what? It what? It's, it's it was like it was like it was like a Game of Thrones moment where they killed off like uh, the big the big bad guy in season And one. I think there was a lot of elements that made that show very popular 
But I till this day feel like that was a scene that got a lot of people talking about that show. Yeah. If you agree with me a little bit. <laughs> I, I agree. You can't, don't well, don't call I her a redneck. Even, I you can't, read that you can't call her a redneck. That, or yeah. That'll happen. So yeah, Melissa, sorry, what were you saying? I hadn't read that episode. I, I, you get the episodes that you're in. So I knew a lot of what was going on and, and a lot just from talking to people on set. But there were still elements of the show that I, I had no idea about. So when I watched it in season two, I had no clue. And I was like, what? <laughs> oh, oh, what are you talking about, Melissa? Are you talking about what, what scene are you talking about? The sh- when he, well, I don't, if there are any, I guess nobody was talking about season two. I'm talking about season two. Talking about season two. Uh, yeah. Oh, I was talking about season one. Which, uh, what, what are you talking about season two? I was, th- oh, you guys are talking about something completely different. We're talking about season one. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're Darlene. What shot, part in season um, one are you talking about then? I think it was the last episode where he, sh- uh, where Darlene shot, um, oh, what was his name? Uh, the, the wait, that was season yeah. one? Yes. I, yeah. In my head, that's season two. <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm glad yeah. we're talking about the same thing man we're talking I got... about the same thing. i'm i'm just my seasons are mixed up but yeah yeah you called so, her re- no wonder he... it was a surprise i wasn't even on the show yet <laughs> <laughs> yeah this was a blast thank you for doing this um thank you. we will thank you we will wrap Fine. up kevin three-time guest congrats where can thank people you. follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything uh Twitter handle is Kevin underscore L underscore Johnson. Um, and then Instagram is, uh, I had to put the because Kevin L. Johnson was taken. So it's the Kevin L. Johnson. Own it, Kevin. I love it. Yeah, I like it too. You're oh. the man, the Kevin L. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jessica, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Where can people follow you on social media? On Instagram, you can follow me my whole name, Jessica Francis Dukes. And on Twitter, you can follow me at Jesse F. Dukes. Awesome. Melissa, yeah. thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, so I don't really use Twitter. I have a Twitter, but I'm not going to give it out because I haven't used it in years. Um, mm-hmm. But my Instagram is just the first letter of my name. So M and then my last name with no dash, St. Amand. So <laughs> if you want to find me, screenshot it because it's a long name. Very cool. Well, thank you all three of you. Um, everyone, season three of Ozark is now available. The wait is over. So watch it and watch my friends, Kevin, Jessica, and Melissa in season three of Ozark on Netflix. This has been Popternative, youtube.com slash Popternative for previous episodes. And until next time, this is Kevin L. Johnson, Jessica, Brad Stukes, and Melissa St. Amand signing off. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.